Globally, 14 to 18 percent of greenhouse gas emissions come from agriculture. But did you know that in the United States, only 11 percent of greenhouse gas emissions come from agriculture? Meanwhile, in Africa, more than 30 percent of emissions come from agriculture. In this lecture, we will take a look at the different role agriculture plays in producing greenhouse gas emissions in the United States, China, Africa, and the European Union. Let's start by thinking about the United States. In 2020, 11% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions came from agriculture. Between 1990 and 2020, these emissions have been on the rise. CO2 emissions from agriculture increased by 26.5%, methane emissions by 15.8%, and nitrous oxide emissions from agricultural activities increased by 14.1%. So why is agriculture, which was responsible for 10% of emissions in 1990, hardly increased in the share of this total it represents? Even though agricultural emissions are still increasing, their share of the United States total emissions has only increased slightly because of a growing transportation sector, which means fueling cars, <laughs> trucks, airplanes, and trains has outpaced the emissions of other industries. As the most populated and third largest country in the world, China is responsible for 27% of global greenhouse gas emissions. This is over a quarter of the emissions produced by the entire world. With a quarter of the population of China, the United States, as of 2019, is responsible for 11% of global emissions, and the European Union is responsible for 6.4%. However, only 7.8% of China's greenhouse gas emissions came from agriculture in 2019. This number was 20.4% 20 in 1990. So how did this significant decline in percent of total emissions come to be? Well, China's economy faced major changes beginning in the 1990s with the introduction of market liberalization. Increased flexibility in the production of goods and trade led China to transition from a majorly agrarian economy to an industrial one. And as a result, power, or the pr production of heat and electricity, became the greatest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions in China. Nevertheless, every greenhouse gas emissions sector, with the exception of land use, change and forestry has increased between 1990 and 2019 in China. Despite its 30.4 million square kilometers of land, Africa contributes only 3.8% of global greenhouse gas emissions. This is a shockingly low percentage as Africa is the world's second largest continent. However, as of 2019, 30.6% of Af Africa's greenhouse gas emissions came from agriculture. Moreover, the amount of agricultural emissions varies per region. Countries such as Ethiopia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Zimbabwe, which are called the breadbasket of Africa, and produce a large share of the continent's staple grains, such as corn, wheat, and rice, are placed ahead of others in terms of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide emissions. In 2019, 10% of greenhouse gas emissions in the European Union came from agriculture. This number was slightly higher in 1990 at 12%. The amount of emissions from agriculture have remained relatively stable over the past 30 years, but the European Union's focus on global shipping and international travel means that agriculture, though still contributing to global emissions, is decreasing in its overall contribution to the EU's contribution to greenhouse gas emissions. So what do these numbers mean on the global scale? In 2021, 14 to 18% of all greenhouse gas emissions came from agriculture. Between 1990 and 2019, global emissions from agriculture increased by 16%. Much of this increase is due to an increased demand for food in countries where populations are growing, and to increased demand for beef and other animal foods whose production emits large amounts of greenhouse gases. While the role that agriculture plays in total greenhouse gas emissions varies by country and continent, it is undoubtedly a crucial sector to understand in seeking solutions to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions.